five and a half, Ken, Mr. Chairman, I'll try to proffer some of this. There's no um, protestants here. This is a transfer of a class uh, A beer wine and car license on Penrose Avenue. Uh, it's basically a um, combination um, food market, of which about uh, over 70% is used for something other than the sale of beer, wine, and, and liquor. Um, in this particular uh, case, the uh, gentlemen are of, of Chinese extraction. As you can see, they were born in Mexico, and I guess we can thank them for our railroads, restaurants, and keeping our clothes clean. Um, Are you getting all that? Mr. Lin, what time do you have to close the operations? What time, what time do you have to close, close the store? Uh, 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock? That's the time you're going to close it? Mm -hmm. How long can you stay open? By uh, law. What time do you have to close it? By law. Uh, 8 o'clock. Morning time. 8 o'clock in the morning. There's a serious gap in understanding regarding um, the rules, the law. Um, and they have no prior experience whatsoever in Baltimore City. Mm -hmm. Without speaking English. The way this country was built, and I'm sorry to say that if they don't do it, they'll lose it. It's their investment. Mm -hmm. Well said. Anything else? All right, let's go off the record. Are you in or out? I'm out. There you go. You can be in contingent upon um, taking a class prior to receiving a license. I can't in good conscience approve a license when people can't understand the basic principles, no matter how well they're represented. Let's go on the record. Decision phase, um, Thursday, December 12, 2013. Ki Ju Shen and Shi Yong Lin, a Zhao Zhen Corporation trading as H and C Market. 1946 Penrose Avenue. This is an application to transfer ownership of a Class A license. We heard from the applicants today. They purchased the business for $60,000. Mr. Chen has only lived in the United States for about four years. He works as a sushi chef. Mr. Lin has been here for at least 10 years. The premises are supposed to be a store um, with the sale of alcohol. The board determines based on the application that um, Mr. Chen and Mr. Lin are fit and proper persons to have a alcoholic beverage license in their name in the city of Baltimore by a two to one vote. Uh, the board does determine that there is a public need and desire for this request, de minimis impact on existing licensees, potential uniqueness of services and products to be offered, negligible impact on health, safety, and welfare, things like crime, traffic, and parking. The majority uh, is myself and Commissioner Jones with respect to the transfer of Commissioner Smith has dissented. Uh, not that she wouldn't approve the application, but that she would uh, make the application and the approval contingent upon uh, the completion of an alcohol awareness course and proof thereof and also uh, would feel a lot better knowing that there was some kind of translation of the rules and regulations uh, in Chinese so that she's convinced that the licensees would understand the rules and regulations of the city liquor board. So that having been said, it would absolutely be important um, for both of you to make sure that you understand these rules and regulations. And maybe we can have, our agency can have someone interpret them for you. But just in case we don't get to that, because we're still thinking about, I don't know, regulations for breweries, for example. We have a lot of things we're working on. So getting an official translation for these rules is probably not going to happen in the next few months. So I would make sure that you speak to a family member or a friend and make sure you go down the line and copy down anything you need to so that you absolutely understand all of the rules because there, there's a lot of them and they're very important to us. And for what you paid for that business, you need to know the rules, right? All right, so we're approving your application and wish you the best of luck. Thank you both. We're off the record. Okay.